We now take an example based on indefinite integration. We have to integrate x times sine 3x. So we apply the rule which is called as integration by parts. That is integration of u into v is u times integration of v minus integration of integration of v into derivative of u dx. So applying the uv rule, now let's see what we obtain. Now before that, you must also know that we have to follow the Liet rule. That is log, inverse, algebraic, trigonometric and exponential. So here the first term is algebraic, correct? And the second term here is trigonometric. So the order is perfect. So let us apply the u into v rule or integration by parts. So we have u that is x into integration of sine 3x dx minus integration of integration of v that is integration of sine 3x dx times derivative of u that is derivative of x and here we write dx. So the next step would be x times now integration of sine 3x is minus cos 3x upon coefficient of x that is 3 minus over here integration of sine 3x is again minus cos 3x upon 3 times uh, derivative of x is 1. So we have obtained this term and we write dx over here. So the next step would be minus x times cos 3x upon 3. We take the 3 outside from the denominator and this negative sign also goes out. So it becomes plus <clears throat> 1 by 3 integration of cos 3x dx. So the next step is x times minus x times cos 3x upon 3 plus 1 by 3. Now integration of cos 3x is sine 3x divided by 3. Now since it is an indefinite integration, so we add the constant of integration that is c. So finally we obtain minus x times cos 3x upon 3 plus sine 3x upon 3 3 is gives 9 plus c. So this is the required integral value.